is MSR's Elixir 2 backpacking tent. As much or little as you want, and then you can roll it up and neatly stash it away. So now we're going to talk about closed cell phone mattresses. Let's take a look at the Marmot Catalyst 2P tent. This is a really awesome tent, but the price is what really makes it stand out from the crowd. Let's take a look. So here's a look at the pole design as well as the body of the tent now. You can see we've got a standard crisscross in orange. All these poles are aluminum, of course. And then we've got one sort of brow pole over the, the front. There is no pole on the other side of this tent, so it is slightly asymmetrical here. However, this tent does bring out the body quite a bit and it gives you a lot of extra headroom and it makes it easier to get in and out of the tent body. Speaking of, we do have a double zipper on this big D door right here, and there is a similar door on the other side, which is good to see. This guy rolls up like this. And then again, it's just a solid uh, toggle and loop system right here. All the poles are attached to the body by uh, clips, either right on the pole system or these larger ones here, if you need uh, an intersection. And uh, Marmot has also color coded all these clips. The body has a bathtub floor, of course, which is a combination of orange and this sort of gray brown color. Uh, it's got a lot of mesh in the front, but then mostly synthetic at the back. So it's an interesting blend. There's quite a bit of ventilation, but to be honest, we'd like to see a little bit more mesh. So here's a look at the bright orange fly now. You can see it's uh, very visible no matter where you are in the forest. This tent is asymmetrical, so flipping the fly around won't actually work. To uh, help you with this, Marmot has included this tiny little red flap here and a tiny little red flap on the body of the tent. Though, to be honest, this is pretty hard to spot, so we would recommend just practicing setting it up before you head out on your first adventure. There are multiple reflective guy out points right here, and there's also one down lower. This keeps the rain a little farther off from the body of the tent and also increases ventilation. Over by the vestibule now, you can see there's a standard storm flap, which is attached by Velcro. And then there's a single zipper here that comes all the way up. And you can roll this side back. It's a nice toggle and loop. Just like that. You can actually roll this side back as well. There's another loop there and a toggle on the inside. And finally, there's one sort of smaller adjustment right here, which helps you keep a nice taut vestibule. There is quite a bit of space inside the vestibule, and this, the other side does have some more space as well. So here's a look inside the tent now. We have a few features that we'd like to point out. First, there's a little triangular pocket right here. We don't really like this style of pocket because once you throw something in, it's pretty easy for it to fall out but it could store some smaller things. And as long as you have good tension in there, then uh, it won't fall out. There's a similar pocket on the other side, which you might not be able to see. And then there's also this one light diffusing pocket right here. You can put your headlamp in here and shine it downwards and it gives you a nice area light, which is pretty nice, but there's only one of them for a two person tent. And then we also have a nice uh, hook right at the top for maybe hanging an area light of your own or just a regular lantern of some sort. And then we've got a few little loops at the top here. You could maybe string a gear loft here or you could just uh, attach a clothesline, something like that. But past that, there's really not too much else to this, uh, to this interior here. You can see the back wall behind me is mostly synthetic material and we do have a similar door right behind me that uh, rolls up and opens the exact same way as the first one that we showed you. And uh, as far as living space goes, it, it's pretty roomy actually. 
but definitely not the largest and not the smallest that we've seen for a two-person tent. Again, keep in mind the price of this tent is extremely low, so it's good to see that uh, they haven't cut any corners when it comes to size. And now for the accessories. They do include a footprint, which is really awesome because it keeps the cost even lower, and it also increases the longevity of the bottom of the tent. We have a grand total of six tent pegs included with this tent, and they're not the greatest, and uh, they feel to be, they could be aluminum, but they're a little bit on the heavy side. So uh, we would recommend picking up some unbendable ones that are maybe even a little bit lighter. Here's the peg bag. And then they also include a, a pole splint right here. So if a pole does snap or crack, you can slide this over and tape it in place and be on your way. So that's our look at the Marmot Catalyst two-person tent. This is a really inexpensive tent, so it's really good for an entry-level uh, tent for beginners. That being said, if you're looking to do something more long-term, we would recommend something that's a little bit more lightweight, has a few more features, and is overall just a little bit more livable. We hope you enjoyed this overview, and if you did like, uh, consider subscribing and leave us a comment down below on what you liked or maybe what feature Marmot should have included in this Catalyst 2P. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.